Welcome back. Take two. Take two. Oh, oh good well. grief. We went through all of that. And it's nobody, okay. Can... If anybody designed, could read lips, they would know what we said, but we'll have to start over. That's okay. Wednesday Wisdoms. Wednesday Divine Wisdom. Fellowship, Janice and Phil. Also known as, what, are you kidding me? This is Wednesday already? Mm -hmm. We're going to try to do everything we did the first time. Sound now, Sandy? Obviously, no, we know sound works because okay. I think Rochelle said it was okay. okay. We're good. <sighs> okay, so, yeah. After <laughs> church on me. Sunday, um, wasp crawled up my leg, stung my thigh. Yeah, great. Poor baby. I have got about, well, it's about three quarters of my thigh is all red and swollen still. Yeah, that's how I react to wasps. How nice. And then this morning, four <laughs> o'clock this morning, Delilah, Delilah runs up. Delilah decides she's going to run out barking at something. It was something. Uh, it was a skunk. It was a skunk. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. So, and yes, she got skunked. And we had the house open. We could not close the house fast enough. The entire house was filled with skunk. It was so you're truly really, amazing. <laughs> you really should be grateful. This is not smell vision because, No smell of vision allowed. Because we got most of it out, but every once in a while you can catch this drift yeah. of skunk. Yeah. In the city. We live in the city, for heaven's sakes. By the way, the, they want 150 bucks to get rid of the skunk, maybe. So, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So, anyway. And lots have, of fun. Lots of fun. Crazy day. So, <clears throat> I have a, have a positive thing to say about Mr. Oh, Phil. hold that, because I want to tell, tell stupid jokes. Oh, stupid. Oh. And she just heard these. I get to hear them again. So you get to hear them again. So I'm going to go through them fast, okay? Why do dogs run run around in circles? It's hard to, for them to run around in squares. What breakfast cereal do cats like? Mice Krispies. Why did the dachshund bite his trainer's leg? Because he couldn't get any higher. And last, but certainly least. least. What do you call a cat that just swallowed a duck? A duck-filled fatty puss. Yeah. So, oh. jokes. You can send jokes to <laughs> Phil, or you Hi, can Valerie. send jokes to the church or something, Hi, and Scott. we'll find them. He needs some more jokes, than that, <sighs> don't you think? So I have a good <clears> thing <throat> I want to say about Phil. Or I want a good mouth him in front of his face. And, and I know what it is now, since she already just did it. <laughs> so we were at a restaurant earlier this week, and... He tasted his coffee and it was just cold. So he takes the coffee cup in and looks at the waitress and says, um, do you think maybe your warmer, warmer burners are not on? And the gal turned and looked at the coffee station. She went, oh, and flipped all the switches back on. So what I think is wonderful about that is the person viewed Phil's comment as helpful and as um and i got a hot cup of coffee later got on. a hot cup of coffee for it but rather than as a criticism he could have just said my coffee is cold which is true and just flat out there it is but by saying it the way he did it was funny and it was lighthearted, and the other person took it as an encouragement rather than a criticism so again kindness is a superpower and i think that was very kind so super phil thank you thank you Wonder Phil. Now can I go? Now you may go. Okay. Hopefully, Valerie said, Beth said. Oh, <laughs> Beth said, yeah, just one of those days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So we were fortunate that it was extremely cool today and we could have the house open up all day long. All day Still long. completely open because yeah. it needs mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. But then we can't smell anything anyway. what he's talking about. I can still smell it wafting through now and then. Oh boy. So <clears throat> life is always interesting, is it not? Well, I want to share with you this evening <clears throat> a little bit more about the I am process. And part of this is in due uh, to uh, Beth Clark, who has been working with this I am process. And she has been using, utilizing the uh, infinity sweep that we had been doing remember me teaching about the infinity sweep to clear space and then to build the energy so <clears throat> excuse me she's been using this um, with i am statements and she has found a really cool uh, access point here 
So I want to talk to you a little bit about that and how to utilize that and how to amplify our I am statements so that our I am statements uh, are manifesting, are powerful and are effective for us and fit for us. Does that make sense? So <clears throat> before I do that, I want to remind us, remind all of us that the corollary to an I am statement and an I am statement is tapping into that divine I am. Yeah, I remember in Exodus, God told Moses, I am, I am that I am. That's that, that divine nature, that unchangeable nature of God that is love. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. I am the bread of heaven. I'm, lots of I am statements here. So it's that divine nature, and we tap into that, and that's where manifesting happens when we're tapped in. So I want us to utilize that a little bit better and have a clear uh, concept of that and some more information on that. Before I do that, I want to remind us, remind us all, that when we say you are, that's an I am statement that we're hanging on someone else. So whether it's you are stupid or you're a failure or you're no good or whatever, you probably have had some of those things said to you, have you not? So just notice that whenever there's a you are, or even just a negative word, um, stupid, somebody calls you stupid, well that's, or somebody calls you ignorant, or somebody calls you um, slow, or somebody calls you careless, those are, you are careless. The you are is silent, but it's still understood. And what it is, is it's identifying and it's locking us in to a perception, an identity that may or may not be true for us. But we identify with that and we run our lives based on that, do we not? So notice any place in your world where you've had an, an, a you are statement gifted to you and you can reverse that. You can change that. You can delete that from your system by using the process I'm going to show you tonight, okay? At the same time, use care in what you say to people because this I am or you are statement is a pronouncement that taps a person into an identity that either is fulfilling their divine nature or is hindering them from their divine nature. So use care and pay attention. So notice in your own being if there's any I am, I am statements that were uh, reverse engineered or dumped on you, you are. Any you are statements that no longer serve you, you know, maybe they were true at the time. Maybe they had uh, reason to say some of the things they did, but you don't need to carry that anymore. It's time to release all that and tap into your divine nature, this part of you that is untouched by the human world and is eternal and is uh, expansive. That's far more powerful for us, especially in the manifesting aspect. And we all are manifesting all the time. Anytime we have an emotional response to something, we really like something or really love something, we really enjoy something or we really hate something, there's an energetic construct that gets created that will bring us more of that. So it's really important for us to be in charge of that. Take that on as our own uh, mission in life to create that understanding for ourselves in the way we want it to be. Not how somebody else experiences life for us or our reaction to anything, but as a powerful choice. Okay, so <clears throat> I put a, posted something on Facebook about some I am statements we might want to work with. And so uh, I want to read the list to you and then we're going to work through the list here in a minute and I'll show you the process. So the list is I am content, I am aware, I am more than just my mind, I am worthy of beauty in life and beyond, I'm worthy, I'm grateful, I'm growing and healing. I am in control of my choices. I am well chosen. I'm fabulous. I am self. 
<clears throat> I am the master of my sea. I am confident, I am enough, I'm courageous, I'm resilient, I'm adaptable. I am heartfelt in my responses, I am sincere, I am majestic, I am safe, I'm kind, I'm kindness, I'm peaceful, I am peace, I am compassion, and I am. Now when you apply the infinity sign to what to these I am statements, let me adjust this just a tiny bit. I hope I don't knock anything off. <coughs> Excuse me. So when you're doing this infinity symbol, and it works best if you're standing, because then your body can sway. Beth said she was doing this more like a Tai Chi movement or a Qigong movement. Just very, very gently moving the energy. And so you can say, I am content. I am safe. I am more than just my mind. And as you're doing these and swaying back and forth and kind of getting into the rhythm of this, you'll notice at the center point where the, where the loops reconnect, where the energies connect, this is an infinity point. This is a point of power. And it taps us into the energy of vastness, the vastness of all kinds of possibilities, of all that could be, unlimited choices, unlimited possibilities again. And so as we're doing the I am statements, we're amplifying the energy and we're focusing this uh, infinity point. And when we finish these infinity state, I am statements, we're gonna take this infinity point that opens up into the vastness. You'll have a sense of that vastness. And we're going to anchor that vastness or draw a connection point into our ascension orb. Remember where your ascension orb is? It's beneath your diaphragm, behind your stomach, and in front of your spine. And it's just a sphere of light that is here as a gyroscope to help keep us stable. And when you use this I am statement, the statement that is specifically right for you or all of the above, whatever works for you, <clears throat> and tap into the vastness, then you're programming the ascension orb now to feed that affirmation, to feed that directive for your life. Because this I am statement is letting you know, this is my divine connector point. This is what is about me that is divine in nature. Because our I am statements are really saying, it is my divine nature to be content. How cool is that? Doesn't that shift everything? It's your divine nature to be content. It's your divine nature to be aware. It is my true essence to be more than just my mind. Wow, isn't that powerful? It is my divine nature to be worthy. It is my divine nature to be grateful. And you know what? It gets easy. Everything is easy from there. We try to teach our dog be easy because she was really mouthy when we first got her. She, you know, came from the streets and didn't have enough food. So she's always biting hand as well as the food you're trying to hand to her. So we teach her be easy. And I remember giving her something she'd never tasted before. And she was like, took it very gingerly because she wasn't sure about it. And I, kept, I said, be easy, be easy. And then she just gingerly took that and was like, oh, that's it. And she's been able to get it since then. I have to remind her, be easy. But she's really gentle with her mouth now. And see, when we do these I am's with the understanding and the awareness from our heart and mind connection that it's our nature, then it's no longer anguishing. It's no longer difficult. It's easy. It just is. It's easy peasy. We can be easy about it. Make sense? So let's just do this as a process, shall we? We'll do it together. We're running out of time. <clears throat> but this is really important, so we might go over just a bit. 
So I'll read them. I'll do them with you. Okay? So we'll do each one twice. Should we do it twice? Once, twice, three times? You know I'm getting once is enough. So do, do them with me. So first of all, we're going to start sweeping the energy, building the energy. If you could stand and do this, you'll really feel, uh, feel that even better. I'm not going to stand because I don't want to get tangled up in my microphone and that would not be pretty. <clears throat> so as that energy builds now, we're sweeping and clearing and then now we can build the energy based on our intent. I am content. Feel that smoothing energy in. Feel that build. I am aware. I am more than my mind. I am worthy of beauty in my life and beyond. I'm worthy. I'm grateful. I'm growing and healing. I am in control of my choices. I am well chosen. I am fabulous. I am self. I am the master of my seed. I am confident. It is my divine nature to be confident. I am enough. It is my divine nature to be enough. I am courageous. It is my true essence to be courageous. I am resilient. I am adaptable. I am heartfelt in my responses. I'm sincere. I am majestic. I am kind. I am kindness. I am peaceful. It is my divine nature to be peace. I am compassionate. I am. Now take your awareness in this infinity point where the energies have been crossing. And can you, sorry, move your microphone over. Can you have a sense of the vastness, the opportunity the choice. You may not have the choice present with you at the moment, but within the vastness, it's there and will come to you when you're ready. So can you tap into that? Tap into the vastness. And bring that into your ascension orb. And the qualities that you have embraced in this I am process are now linked within you. This ascension orb is now vibrating at that energy and it stabilizes you even further to be able to have the structure and the strength of this energy within you and around you. And this energetic structure is going to call to you the things that support that, the things that assist that, the things that confirm that for you. I want to encourage you to do this I am process daily for a while. See how it fits for you. See if it's something that would bless your life. I know I am going to try that. If you have any questions, you can type them up. I'll get back online here in a bit and see if, if uh, there's anything I can answer for you. But that's it for me for now for Wednesday Wisdoms. Thank you for joining in and bless you. We'll see you next time.